Oh, hi everyone. Uh, guess what? Uh, as I'm scrolling through my wallets, I realized that I have myself missed out on removing V2LP from Pancake Swap from a couple of my wallets. And uh, in case you have the same problem as me, well, mm, this is for you to take uh, the guide on what you can do in order for you to salvage whatever is left out of your pancake swap v2lp all right just to give you some background um, a couple of months back the company has asked us to add our lp v2 onto pancake swap then that was the way in order to activate our wallet with a 0 0.1 ftc plus equivalent lp and uh, then you know we did that for most of our accounts right most of us did it including myself and then there was a deliberation on whether we would have to remove from the pancake swap v2 lp manually ourselves or to leave it or would the company do on the back end to transfer that over to fin swap so um, now fast forward we are at a season where now everything is much clearer uh, and we realize that you know whatever v2 lp left in pancake swap is of little to no value and uh, that if we continue to remain there the value will just continue to decrease furthermore it is no longer considered to be valid because now the company has set new requirements and uh, that all the liquidity considered to be valid has to be via fin swap. Also that we are to have a minimum of at least one SCF plus the equivalent in FUSD liquidity on fin swap in order to consider the account to be valid. Right, so these are the new regulations that came out some two or three days ago. And we are given um, a few days to do the necessary changes ourselves and manually. All right, so um, then I discover that I actually still have Pancake Swap V2 LP. Okay, so I guess many of you will be encountering the same as me. And if you are wondering what to do, how to do, this video will be a comprehensive guide for you. Earlier, I've also done another video on the similar topic. Alright, but um, anyway, this is a backup video uh, specifically to guide you on how to remove your V2LP from Pancake Swap. So first up, when you see this in your wallet, then you know you still have kick lp in bep20 and this is the kick token so what you have to do is go into swap trading to assess your pancake swap in app click on it swap trading then at this point <coughs> excuse me click on liquidity and then um when you see this, it means that you still have V2 LP on Pancake Swap, so you have to click on this portion here. Okay. Oops, I beg your pardon. Um, what have I done? Um, just a minute, please. Hi, I'm back. And so, um, when you see this, you have to click on it itself and when you click on it then you will see that you have this okay you have to either add or remove of course right now we want to remove click on remove and then click on maximum then you will see the summary of what you have to receive balance um, and what is the current price you can see it's very low right now on pancake swap $31.75 so and if you keep delaying on removing it the value will continue to dwindle so you know um, we should have removed this earlier ourselves manually 
okay but uh, it's better late than never right okay so now at this point enable after you enable you have to click remove and then again this is the summary of what we will receive or i will receive in terms of ftc which is 0 0.393 and this amount in usdt i'll just confirm it next step and uh, after keying in the password is submitted all right and then now okay so these are you know some of the risks that when we enter into any lp you know that we could be subject to whether is it in permanent loss or permanent loss in this case i guess there is some amount of loss thankfully it's not too huge because the lp value that was added was only like 0 0.11 uh an equivalent lp and uh, so, you know, even though actualizing the loss is not too great, it's still bearable. So let me go back to the wallet and take a look at the situation. Okay, so um, what do we have in this wallet now? So now you see I have FTC BEP. Um, now it is credited into FTC BEP. And I would want to swap this out to USDT as soon as possible because even FTC BEP20, um, it is of no great value. Right now, what is of value to the company is SCF main. All right, SCF main is the main value. Okay, so right now I would want to swap this out to USDT BEP20 after this. Okay. Now let me take a look just now after removing the LP V2 from pancake swap this amount is at least being salvaged all right so right now I'm going to do the swap right so now in order to coming back yeah in order to swap out this FTC BEP 20 to USDT BEP 20 the only way now is to do it via swap trading through pancake swap okay through swap trading remember all right so click on swap trading and then remain it under this swap portion check that the properties are correct so what do you want to swap you want to swap um, you know FTC to to USDT BEP20 so since it is not in the correct order you have to click on this center arrow to swap it up and down okay so now that you have clicked it it is in the correct order FTC this is the balance in FTC BEP20 and this if you click max it will convert fully to USDT BEP20 let's do it max and the system tells you that this is what you will get okay so quickly click on enable FTC click on confirm key in your password okay and then all right um, it's done it's enabled but it's not yet done remember you have to complete the process by clicking finally this swap button that appears now okay then they will finally give you the summary that this is what you will get in terms of I mean as in what you will get from this FTC it will be converted to this amount in USDT BEP 20 so there is also a small little uh, trading fee okay so click confirm swap next step and the swap is done then you can actually check into your wallet you see the wallet at first it still has this BEP 20 FTC BEP 20 right I think if I yeah you see it's zero rised it's already refreshed and zero rised and now USDT BEP 
has been increased because I've already sold out that FTC BEP20 into USDT BEP20. So this is what you do, okay? So this is how you do it as well. All right? And uh, my advice is if you do have FTC BEP20, do not use that to swap to FTC Fin or or FTC main or oh, sorry not FTC fin I mean SCF fin or SCF main because if you want to swap from FTC BEP to SCF it's going to incur very high surcharges that is what the company has done to inbuilt high surcharge fees in order to prevent arbitrage trading arbitrage trading means uh, you know, to prevent someone from trying to benefit from the difference in the price of the coin between pancake swap and fin swap, because pancake swap the price has gone down very much, and on fin swap the price has gone up very quickly, you know, day by day. So therefore, there is a difference in price, and that could incur an arbitrage uh, trading for some people to gain from that difference in pricing. And so to prevent that, the company has levied a high surcharge. So as a result, it is not advisable for you to convert your FTC BEP20 to SCF, all right? It is more worth it if you were to do like what I have done to sell out your FTC BEP20 and convert it to USDT BEP20. And then, if you actually want SCF, then you convert your USDT BEP20 <coughs> to acquire SCF coins instead. Alright? So, I hope this video has helped you to understand better and, uh, you know, step by step on what you should do. Okay? If you want to convert out your FTC BEP20. Alright? God bless everyone. Take care.